Welcome, 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 welcome to Newton High School here on SUV TV. I am Sly the Sports Guy, and we have us a good one tonight. It is region championship time, 7A, region four. We have the number one team in 7A taking on the number 16 in 7A. The Brookwood Broncos taking on the Archer Tigers. We got us a good one. Hi, everyone. I am Slider Sports Guy Sylvester Williams as we get ready for some exciting basketball action. We have Brookwood. Brookwood coming in at 25 and 1. 25 and 1, riding an 18 game winning streak. An 18 game winning streak, taking on their region four. Their region four. Four, the Archer Tigers, they're 18 and five, 18 and five, seven and three in the region. These two teams both matched up earlier, two times this year, two times, and let's be honest, it was all Brookwood all night long. Brookwood came out the first game, they won 70 to 49, 70 to 49, took Archer behind the woodshed. The second game, the second game, they won 65-53. A little bit closer, but the same result. The same result. Archer, they look to see if they can change some things. But if they want to change the outcome, step number one, step number one, figure out how they can stop number 20, Diana Collins. Diana Collins, the Ohio State commit. She does a little bit of it all. In the last game against Archer, she had 23.6 rebounds, five assists. She does a little bit of it all for Bookwood. Sometimes she even drives the bus on the away games. That's Diana Collins. All right, we're getting ready for the tip-off, getting ready for the tip-off. Archer, Archer, they'll be in all red, all red with the gray numbers in the black trim. Brookwood, Brookwood, they'll be the home team tonight. The Lady Broncos, they'll be in all white maroon numbers and let's say gold trim. Let's get ready for some good basketball action. Here we go. There's the tip. Archer will win. They'll send it over to Kennedy Daniels. Kennedy is senior. They'll move it out on the wing, tried to get things going with that. Shot couldn't go, went off the arms of Danielle Oso. Danielle Oso, sophomore, sophomore, just voted all region, first team all region, first team all region defense, Danielle Oso, for Brookwood. Now, Courtney Nesbitt will have it up top. Now they'll move it back around to Nia McGowan. McGowan signed to go to South Carolina State. She'll be in Orangeburg next year. Be in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Both teams having a little bit of problems trying to get it going in the early going. There she is, Diana Collins. Collins will work off the pick, elbow jumper. Ooh, short off the front of the rim. Now McGowan, McGowan pushing it up court. McGowan sends it over to Courtney Nesbitt. Courtney Nesbitt lays it in for two. Courtney getting things going. And it looks like Archer, they're going to go full court man to man. Trying to figure out how to stop this awesome Brookwood team. Like I said, they came in 25 and 1, 25 and 1 on an 18 game winning streak. The only loss, the only loss was to the number one team in 6A. Let's take a look at the replay. McGowan to Nesbitt, and Nesbitt lays it in for the easy layup. They're bringing in the Collins. Now, Collins. Collins are working at the top of the key. Collins playing with her at the top. The future Buckeye. Trapped in the corner, they'll send it down to Weathersby. Weathersby, turn around, jumper comes up short. Now Archer will push it back up court. McGowan, McGowan goes to the basket. McGowan blocked by Weathersby. Looking for a foul, ooh, that was a late call. No, wait a minute, where did they call that foul on? Let's see who they called it on. Yep, they, go, they called it on Archer, so it wasn't a late foul. They didn't call it on the block. They called it on the rebound. Called it on the rebound. Here we go. Now Kennedy will move it over to Weathersby. Weathersby on the outside, being guarded by Harris. There's your long outlet. Working in, jumper on the baseline. No, couldn't get it. Rebound brought down by Nesbitt. The long outlet from McGowan. McGowan up court. Pleasure pump fake. Got away with a travel. Count the basket. And one. 
Kendall Sessom will go to the line and try to get three the old-fashioned way. Look out to take the contact, put it up, and put it in for the easy two. Sessom trying to get three the old-fashioned way. Shots up and it's good. And right now, Archer pitching the shutout. Score 5-0, six minutes, two seconds to go in the first period. Archer still playing that man-to-man -man defense. Todd Hunter has the assignment of Garden Collins, and she's all over, not letting her get the ball at all. Now Archer off and running. Almost turned it over, but Hunter will get it. Now Hunter, they'll move it around. Going baseline, trying to bring it back out. Nesbitt will have it up top. And Coach Harris didn't like what he saw. Coach Harris decided to call timeout. Five minutes, 34 seconds. We're going to take a 30-second break, and we'll see you back here on SUV TV. Breda Pest Management proudly supports Georgia high school basketball. The Bradas believe in giving back to the communities they serve and since 1975, Breda has protected homes from bugs and critters. See more at Breda, B-R-E-D-A, pest.com. All right, welcome back, welcome back. We're here live, live at Newton High School. Got us a good one in the early going right now. Archer pitching a shutout here in the region championship game. There's your pull up, knock it down, Taj Hunter. The junior knocks it down off the dribble. Still going full court, man, Archer is. Brookwood, they'll move it, they'll get it down low to Collins. Collins working inside, Collins will pull it back out. Collins wants to reset the offense. The Archer faithful getting loud over on the sideline. Now Collins off the pick. Collins, three ball, couldn't get it to go. Rebound brought down by Hunter. Now Nesbitt, Nesbitt will have it. Nesbitt going to the hole. Nesbitt, nice drop off. Blocked on the inside. No, it'll go out of bounds. We'll stay down here. Couple of substitutions. Coach Harris not afraid to use his bench. Now they'll move around. Trying to work on the inside, scramble down up underneath. Jump ball. Scramble up underneath, they're gonna call jump ball, possession arrow. Archer's ball. We'll stay down here with Archer, Archer will have it. Archer's ball, out of the baseline. Archer with the possession arrow. You know that's my pet peeve in high school basketball. I do not like the possession arrow. I wanna see him jump it up. Here's the inbounds, comes up short, nice strong rebound. They'll move it back out, Collins turned it over. Now Weathersby. Weathersby with the shovel pad. Oh, look at the defense coming back. Diving on the floor. Everybody from Archer going hard at it. Now Bryant. Bryant sends it over to Nesbitt. Nesbitt stops, pops from three. No, couldn't get it. Fight on the outside. They're going to call a foul, I think. Let's see who they call it on. They're going to call a hole on uh, Whitehead, Mimi Whitehead. She'll pick up the foul. Archer still pitching the shutout. Now Weathersby. Weathersby sends it over in the corner. Phelan, no. Fought for the rebound. Got a box out. Who they going to call it on? They're going to call that one on Nesbitt. Nesbitt, I thought she had position, but they're going to call foul. Here we go. They'll send it in, Collins on the outside. Now Collins will play with her up top. 
the future Buckeye crosses over, going to the basket, takes it. Oh, my goodness, Diana Collins. Diana Collins showing why she's going to Ohio State with the left-hand layup on the left-hand side off the crossover. Long three, bottom of the net, right back at us, Shante Bryant. But well, Bryant knocks down the three ball. Now Weathersby, Weathersby tries to answer. Boom, right back at you, Jade Weathersby. The future blazer at Alabama Birmingham. Oh, they're going to call travel. They're going to call travel on Courtney Nesbitt. Score five to ten in the early going here. Three minutes, 26 seconds to go. Archer in full control so far in the early going. They'll get it into the freshman justice. Now, Oso, Oso, it'll roll around, won't fall in. And McGowan, the future Bulldog. They'll send it over. Thought about the three on the outside, changed the mind. They'll move it back around. Nice ball moving around the perimeter. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Now McGowan to have it. McGowan. McGowan trying to attack the inside of the lane. Couldn't get it to go in Collins with the rebound. Collins tried to find Oso. Ball tipped. Nope. They'll say it wasn't tipped. They'll say it's Archer Ball. Now McGowan. McGowan will bring it up court. Set her offense up. Bryant. Bryant on the wing. They'll move it over. Now trying to attack the basket. Good block by Oso. Jump ball. It'll go the other way. Oso showing why she's first team all defense in their region. Danielle Oso. Sophomore getting plenty of interest. She even has some, some power five interest. Young Danielle does. Uh oh, ball stolen away. They'll have it in the open court. They'll send it back over under two minutes to go. McGowan, they'll move it over. Thought about that three on the outside. Now back to McGowan. She'll shoot it. And I think we got a foul on the shooter. McGowan's going to get a chance to go to the line and get three the hard way. See if she can knock down these free throws. Shout out to everybody watching, everybody following along. Everybody watching us on YouTube, watching us on SUVTV, uh, DSUVTV.com. Everybody checking us out. Be sure to tweet us, man. We love, we love fan interaction. We love fan interaction. Remember, if you're in the chat on YouTube, if you're in the chat on YouTube, say something to me in the chat. Or you can tweet me. Tweet me at Sly, the sports guy. Tweet us at SUVTV. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think about this game. Who you pulling for? McGowan knocks down two free throws, two out of the three. Seven-point lead for the Lady Tigers. Weathersby to the basket. Did he count the basket? Basket's good for Jade Weathersby. Weathersby going to the lane, taking the hoop and some harm, drawing the blocking, blocking foul. We see you in the chat, Adrian Bennett. Adrian Benham, big time coach up there in upstate South Carolina. Shout out to the Hillcrest, Hillcrest boys basketball team. They're in the playoffs. I think they won last night. Nesbitt up top, they'll move it over in the corner. Archer running into each other. 
They'll move it back over. Now McGowan, long range, didn't draw anything. Somebody must have opened the door when she shot that one. Wynn took it offline. Now attacking, they'll send it over to Justice. Three ball, Weathersby. Weathersby counted. Uh-oh. Weathersby heating up. Nine points for Jade Weathersby. They'll move it around. Just under 50 seconds to go. McGowan, McGowan up top. McGowan drops off the Nesbitt. Nesbitt off the glass, too strong. Couldn't get it. Rebound, put up, roll around, can't fall in. Now they'll go back the other way. Getting back on defense is Hunter. Collins, Collins, feeling the pressure. Collins, oh, turned it over. Now they'll go the other way. McGowan in the open court. McGowan, a keeper to self. Couldn't get it to fall. Off the glass, the put back is good. Kendall Collins, the sophomore Kendall Collins, cleaning up the glass for the two. Now Collins, they'll move it around. Attacking, we got a foul on the outside. Seven seconds, 7.8, 7.8 seconds. Uh-oh, we're in the penalty. In the penalty. We'll be shooting one and one, one and one. New high school rules, new high school rules. Start shooting the bonus a little bit earlier. Your fouls reset each quarter. Six fouls a quarter, you're automatically into the one and one. First one doesn't fall. Nesbitt with the rebound. Now Nesbitt will push it up. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two. Nesbitt, coast to coast. Oh, it blew the layup. Oh. Couldn't quite get it at the buzzer. The score, Archer 14, Brookwood 11. It's the SUV TV game of the week here on SUV TV. Management proudly supports Georgia high school basketball. The Bradas believe in giving back to the communities they serve, and since 1975, Breda has protected homes from bugs and critters. See more at Breda, B R E D A, pest.com. This McDonald's is so important because it ended up being a place where our band members would go to get to know each other outside of the band room. Oh, you, 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 you know? It's definitely like our student union. <laughs> but with fries. <laughs> this one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Welcome back. Welcome back to the start of the second period. Right now it's Archer 14, Brookwood 11. Archer 14, Brookwood 11. I am Sly, the sports guy. We're here on SUV TV for the region championship. This is 7A Region 4 Girls Championship. Right now, McGowan on the outside. McGowan attacking. McGowan partially blocked. Nope, they're going to call foul. I thought she got all ball. I thought Oso got all ball on that one. But they're going to call foul. First free throws good for McGowan. McGowan's three out of four from the charity strike. She has three points. She'll knock it down, McGowan. McGowan four out of five from the charity strike. Now Justice sends it to Phelan, trying to get it down low to Oso. Collins will get it. Too strong off the backboard. And Nesbitt with the long outlet. Oh, off the fingertips. Couldn't quite hold on that one to that one. Whitehead, it'll go off her fingertips and out of bounds. Archer keeping the pressure up, though. Staying with that man, full court man to man. 
They'll get it into Justice. Now Justice. The young freshman, Justice McCoy. Now Collins. Oh, Collins got bumped. They're going to call that one on McGowan. Yes, sir. Collins, one of the premier players in the state of Georgia. Depends on who you ask. She's either the third or the fourth ranked player in the state of Georgia. Depends on who you ask. She'll be going to Ohio State. Check the SUV TV archives. Got to see a great matchup between Brookwood and Kale earlier in the year at um, Hawks Naismith Holiday Classic. Got to see Oso, I mean, um, well, got to see Oso put on a show and Diana Collins put on a show against Kale. Oh, there's your offensive foul. Stuck that forearm out. Gave it an old forearm shiver. I'm talking about NWA style. WWF forearm shiver. Not even WWE, I'm talking WWF forearm shiver. Now Weathersby, Weathersby on the outside. Weathersby, they'll move it over. Justice McCoy for long range, knock it down. Justice, the freshman, knocking down the three ball. Now Nesbitt, Nesbitt lost the dribble. Intercepted by Collins, Collins. Collins will push it up court. Sends it over to Kennedy. Couldn't get it, but also, also will get it. Also, she's a force down low. Couldn't get that one to go, though. Now we'll go back the other way. Two-point ball game. Nice pass by Nesbitt. They'll move it back around. Working on the outside. There's your three ball. No. Can't get it. Think we got a foul underneath. They're going to call it on the freshman. Justice McCoy will pick up the foul. Nesbitt had position. Two fouls. Two fouls in the early going on Justice McCoy. They'll get it in the Nesbitt. Nesbitt shovels it back out. Three ball on the count it. Knock it down, Taj Hunter. Hunter gets the hoop and the horn. A chance for the four point play. Look at Hunter knocking it down. Taj Hunter taking the contact and knocking down the three. See if she can get four. Ooh, off the back of the rim, no good. Scramble on the floor, tie up. It'll be Brooklyn ball, Brookwood ball. Nineteen fourteen, nineteen fourteen in the early going. Second period. Archer on top of Brookwood. Now Weathersby, Weathersby on the outside. Attacking the basket, blocked. Taj Hunter with the block on the baseline. Now they'll go, they'll push it up the other way. Nice crossover. They'll send it back over. Nesbitt in the corner. Nesbitt jump stops. Nope. Going to call travel. Going to call travel. Jim is filling up, filling up. They got the one little section over there, the cheerleader section. Won't allow anybody to sit in, but this is going to be one of the nights I like to call make a new friend type of night. It'll be jam-packed. It'll be jam-packed in here. This game, big-time region matchup for the region championship. And after this game, after this game on SUV TV, we're going to bring you Newton. Newton versus Grayson, two of the top-ranked teams in the state of Georgia, battling out for their region championship. Now Collins. Collins attack. Get that out of here. Kendall Collins getting rid of it from Diana Collins. No relation. Kendall Collins, a sophomore. All right. They'll 
He'll get it in. Collins catches and releases. No. And another foul. A foul picked up on Oso. Oso with the over the back call. That's two fouls on Oso. Now Bryant, she'll pick up the dribble. They'll send it over. Three ball out of the corner. Shot that one way too long. Death perception might have been off a little bit on that one. Trying to get it on the inside to Weathersby. Ball tipped, knocked away. It'll stay down here. It'll be Brookwood ball. Brookwood down by five. Five minutes and five seconds to go in the half. And we have a timeout. Coach Mincy, Coach Mincy decided to call a timeout. It'll be a 30-second timeout. We'll stay here. Stay here for the 30-second timeout. Right now, in the early going, Todd Hunter leads Archer. She has five points. McGowan, Tania McGowan, she has four. All of them coming from the charity strike. On the other side, Jay Weathersby, Jay Weathersby. Had the hot hand in the first quarter. She has nine points, nine points. Two threes. Speaking of threes, Justice McCoy. McCoy knocked down one three herself. Looking at this game, basically, if you look at the floor, you got the all-region team on the floor. These two programs basically swept the all-region <laughs> honors. Nesmond and McGowan, first team for Archer. Collins and well Collins and Oso. Oh, got a charge offensive foul. Who did they? Oh, they call that one on Oso. That's her third foul. That is her third foul. She's probably gonna have to sit down for the rest of the half. Big loss to post presence. Out of the game for Brookwood. Three ball from the corner. That comes up way short. Now Collins. Collins sends it over to Weathersby. Weathersby, she'll shoot a three. Top of the key. It'll fall in. Three. Jade Weathersby came to play. Three threes for Jade. Nesbitt couldn't get it to go. There's a tie-up. No, there's your tie-up. Which way will stay? It'll be Archer Ball. Four minutes. Four minutes, 22 seconds to go, 25 seconds to go. Did they call, ooh, they called the foul away from the ball, okay. They say the ball don't lie, it'll go back to Brookwood, it'll be Brookwood ball. They're gonna call that one on Kendall Collins, I think she might have set a legal screen. Now Kennedy Daniels. Daniels will have it. Daniels attacking. Daniels turns it over. Now Archer off and running. Three on two break. They'll get it to Nesbitt in the corner. Nesbitt spins up underneath. Nesbitt off the glass. Give her two points. Courtney Nesbitt. Nesbitt working hard for the two points. Now Weathersby from long range one more time. That's a heat check. Why not? She, got to, she had to shoot that one. There's your outlet. There's your travel. Got to put it on the ground first. Can't take that step. Four-point ball game. Oh, Weathersby wide open, and she got fouled. I think they're going to call that one on, on Collins. Collins got caught sleeping. Weathersby was wide open underneath the basket. She shouldn't have took the dribble. Should have went straight up with it. 
Jade Cunningham at the line, shooting two. First free throw good from Weatherspoon. Second free throw good for Weathersby. 14 points in the early going for Weathersby. Weathersby has 14 out of the 19. Now they'll move it over. Wide open three. Count the basket. Cameron Wade knocks it down for three. Stretches it out to a five-point lead. Inside to Kennedy. Kennedy Daniels, she'll be fouled. And Kennedy will go to the line and shoot two. Kennedy, honorable mention, all conference, all region. The senior, fresh off an offer from uh, East Georgia State. They just offered her. She's getting some interest for some couple of other college programs out there. Kind of hesitant with the offers. But they'll be coming and coming in abundance, uh, abundance soon for Kennedy Daniels. Kennedy had a big game against Kale when we had her on SUV TV. Oh, look at that, the pass in the easy layup for Kendall Collins. Right now, Diana Collins up top. And Coach Mincy wants to call the timeout. Coach Mincy wants to take a short timeout right here. Coach Mincy. Her fourth year here at Brookwood. If you're from the Gwinnett area, you might know Courtney Mincy. Courtney played at uh, Shiloh. Played at Shiloh a couple of years ago. I won't tell you how long. Also played at the University of Alabama. Played at Alabama. Decided to come back home to Gwinnett County. Not quite sure how the Shiloh people feel about her uh, going to a rival Gwinnett County school, but but she's found a spot and made her presence felt. Made her presence felt here at Brookwood. Now Collins, Collins working, Collins attacking that left. Got away with a travel, no, did not get away with a the travel. They're gonna call that one. Now working, attacking, they'll kick it out. McGowan for three. McGowan couldn't get it. Rebound by Wade. Wade just throws it over the backboard, but she's fouled. Wade will go to the line, and Wade will shoot two. Wade couldn't get the first one to drop. Archer leaving a lot of points at the charity strike. But that one will fall for Cameron Wade. Now working is Collins. Collins. Collins with the step back. Oh, you never foul the shooter. Collins will go to the go to the charity stripe and get a chance to knock down this lead. First free throw's good from Diana Collins. Second free throw, no good. 
Oh, nice find underneath the hesitation and put it up and put it in. Mimi Whitehead. Now Weathersby on the outside. Weathersby going to the basket. Couldn't get it to fall and McGowan to get that rebound. Now Wade, Wade will push it up court. Wade kicks it out. Three ball on the outside. No. McGowan gets the rebound, puts it up, and puts it in to Nia McGowan. Now Collins. Collins will stop at the free throw line. Oh, bottom of the net. Diana Collins. Diana Collins showing why she's one of the best in the state. Oh, and right back out of his McGowan. Couldn't get it. And Daniels with the rebound. There's your long outlet to Collins. And Collins will lay it in for the easy two. Uh-oh, they've turned up the pressure on defense. Now Collins will have it one more time. Collins, travel. She dragged the foot. I think he might have called that one a little bit too early. I don't think she dragged the foot on that one, but who am I? I'm just a very good looking man on the microphone. That don't mean I know a lot. <laughs> oh, there's the offensive foul. <laughs> I think that might, <laughs> I think the referee might not agree with that travel call, so he called that push off. <laughs> They say the ball don't lie. It'll get back to where it belongs. Here we go, just under a minute to go. Substitution coming in the game. They'll try to get it in. Now Collins will have it. Collins attacking. Collins, nice block. No, oh, no, they're going to call foul. Let's see who he calls it on. I'm going to call that one on Cameron Wade. And Diana Collins will go to the line. She's one for two from the charity strike. Make that one for three. Collins knocks down the second one. She's shooting 50% from the line. Three ball on the outside, no. We'll stay down here. Looks like the Archer faithful don't agree with that call at all. All tapped away. They say the ball don't lie. It'll go back. Here we go. Daniels will have it. Daniels stops, pops for three. Basket. Kennedy. Daniels stops on a dime and knocks it down. One point ball game. Under 30 seconds. Nesbitt sends it over. Three ball. Boom. Count it. Count the basket. Ashante Bryant from long range. Ashante Bryant off of the assist from Courtney Nesbitt. Ooh, and they got Kennedy Daniels on that one. That's Kennedy's second foul. And she gets four the hard way, Ashante Bryant. And just like that, it's a five-point lead for the Archer Tigers. 23 seconds ago, shot clock off. They'll get it into Collins. Collins sends it over to Phelan. They'll move it back to Daniels. Daniels thought about it. Over to the Collins. Collins pump fake. Back over to Daniels. Daniels from long range. Couldn't get it. Collins will come back out with it. Collins with the hesitation. Collins pulls. No. Nesbitt with the rebound. Nesbitt pushing it up court. Nesbitt with the heave. And that'll do it. 
at the end of the first half. The score, Archer 35, Brookwood 30. It's the Region 4, 7A Region Championship here on SUV TV. Breda Pest Management proudly supports Georgia high school basketball. The Bradas believe in giving back to the communities they serve, and since 1975, Breda has protected homes from bugs and critters. See more at Breda, B-R-E-D-A, Pest.com. Hi, I'm Dominique Wilkins, and welcome to my backyard and CBA Sports. At CBA Sports, we create family fun and a lifetime of memories. From our custom-built court systems, putting greens, synthetic lawn, to complete outdoor living spaces. From a single court to your own backyard fantasy, we can do any or all to accommodate your yard, your budget, and your lifestyle. As president of CBA Sports, I invite you to stop by our design center where you can see and play on all our products. I hope to see you soon. Tamara Brown with SUV TV at the CP3 Rising Stars Camp. SUV TV's 2019 NBA Draft Day coverage. Anthony Edwards Collegiate Decision presented by the Georgia Hoop Circle on SUV TV. SUV TV brings the game to the audience. You give a better focus on the actual game at hand. Sometimes you could tell it's just a running camera by itself sitting there, but with SUV TV, it's more of a personal experience. Just the exposure, being able to see games that you normally wouldn't be able to see, not only here locally, but across the country. Those angles make you pick up different things as a coach, as an evaluator. They're giving you great quality, nobody talking in the background. I think it, it, it brings basketball to the forefront. Whether it's a family member that lives in a different state, they can, they can watch the game, or just bringing in more coverage for these players, or if it's just allows us to raise more money for something like Susan G. Komen. And so I think this event has grown because you guys have been a part of it the whole entire time. SUV TV has given a different light to kids that don't always get the best exposure. The commentary that goes along with the games, I think is always interesting. <laughs> That's down. Oh, yes, sir. It brings something to the table that no other streaming aspect can bring, uh, no matter how hard they try right now. Dayton Avian Williamson at the buzzer. That is how game. you get the Peachtree Corners Invitational started. And that will do it. Thanks for joining us. When you don't feel like working and you still got to go to work, that's the grind. And that's what you have to do sometimes. When you choose to put in the work and embrace the journey, success has no choice but to find you. Buzz, come here. I want to see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. with the varsity. Yes, sir. Congratulations, you made it. Thank you, coach. All right. My name is Diedrich Hadiaki Hajiwara Thomas. I'm the CEO of Hadiaki, a fashion house of designing garments for notable clients in the sports and entertainment industry. My studio is built around a lifestyle, built around an experience. 
if you were to think of Maison Hadiaki, you would think of a fashion house that exists in Paris. So it's something that you have to come and really see with your own eyes. Some of my most notable clients that I've worked with over the years include Samuel L. Jackson, Urban Magic Johnson, Steve Smith, Paul Millsap, Steve Harvey, Mo Williams, Clifford, Tip Harris, just to name a few. I've known Diedrich for maybe four years now. The same amount of time I've been getting my custom bespoke garments from Heidi Aki. I don't think you can get much better than that. Like that? Here at Hadiyaki, it's a different experience for each client. We really focus on the individuality of the client. So the first thing we do is actually go through a consultation with the client to really understand, you know, their needs, their wants, their desires. <laughs> you know, after they go through that process, we end up with something that parallels the aspirations. So how you feel, man? It's done smooth, bro. We're actually really, you know, able to take them through the process of accomplishing that goal. And it's just unique to them. Oh, it was terrible. I was totally stranded. No TP? Nope. Empty roll. So what happened? Well, we started buying Charmin Super Mega Roll. Whoa, <laughs> oh, that's, that's huge. huge. Charmin Super Mega Roll is six rolls in one and lasts so much longer, you don't always have to worry about the roll running out. I'm glad you were rescued, Dad. Me too. It was a <laughs> huge relief. Enjoy the go with Charmin. Guaranteed to fit or your money back.
Supermarket sushi, really? No. Wait, Troy, you work here? I'm never not working. Like head and shoulder scalp shield technology, up to 100% dandruff protection, even between washes. Never not working, huh? Oh, Troy, you're such a good teacher. Yeah, I know. <laughs> never not working. Never not working. Never, ever not working. Are you serious? Never not working. Standard protection that's never not working. Head and shoulder scalp shield technology. Welcome back. Welcome back to the start, to the start of the second half. Got us a good one. 35-30, 35-30. Archer, Archer on top of Brookwood. Check this out. We love to give shout-outs. We love to give shout-outs on the broadcast. Shout-out to Breda Pest. Breda Pest, our presenting sponsors. Wanted to know what was the score of the Parkwood game. Park, Park View, I'm sorry. Park View won. 61-56, 61-56, Parkview took out South Gwinnett. They'll finish in third place. They'll finish in third place in the region. That was the matchup before us. Shout out to Breda Pess. Here we go. Back to this game right here, Jay Wellesby. Wellesby had 14 points in the first half. Weathersby from long range. She had three threes. Oh, there's your long outlet in the open court. They'll kick it back out. Thought about the three. They'll move it around. Now working on the outside, McGowan. McGowan will have it, and McGowan wants to set the offense up. They'll pull it back out and reset. Three ball from McGowan, in and out, couldn't stay, fought for the rebound, and it'll be Brookwood ball, Brookwood ball. Brookwood ball. Still stand man-to-man -man defense, Archer. Archer plays an interesting defense. They play some, usually play something like a 1-3-1 that morphs into a man-to-man, -man, some type of amoeba defense. But tonight it looks like Coach Harris, he's going straight man to man all game long. Face up, got to beat me. Here we go, Weathersby attacking. The rebound and the putback. Look at that, Diana Collins. Diana Collins making things happen. And look at a rat back at him, Ashante Bryant. Ashante Bryant getting to the basket, putting it in, getting the roll, and it's falling in. Ashante had seven in the first half. That's nine. Has a chance to get double digits. Here we go. Up, in, and out. Did not get it. Didn't get that living right roll. They'll kick it out. There's your three ball on the outside. Ooh, hits the support. Should have been a dead ball, but it's not. Collins will get it. Collins. Collins on the outside. Being double teamed. Nesbitt out top. Trying to trap Collins. Collins throws it to Phelan in the corner. They'll move it back around. Hall up top for three. Get it. Sierra Hall. Bryant pulls. No. Does not fall. Now Danielle, Daniel, Daniels, I'm sorry, Daniels with the behind the back dribble. Daniels trying to get to the hole, throws it up too strong off the backboard and hauls or get the rebound and send it back to Weathersby. Now working is Weathersby. Weathersby attacking, there's your travel. Took too many steps. Too many steps. I'm a guy with a habit. Just under 5.30 to go. Just under 5.30. Now in the open court is Whitehead. Whitehead almost lost it. We'll stay down here, tipped out of bounds. 5.20 to go in the third. It's a two-point ball game. Whitehead. 
Referee held things up for a second. They'll get it down low to Whitehead. Whitehead working in the inside. Nice block by Fadler. Whitehead gets it back. Whitehead, jump ball. Nope. Are they going to call foul or jump ball? Ooh. Okay. They're, they're going to call that one on Hall. I knew they couldn't call that one on Phelan. She got the clean block, but they're going to call it on Hall. Here's your free throw. First one is up and it's good. Mimi Whitehead knocks down the first free throw. Second free throw is good for Mimi. Four point ball game. Collins working off the screen, sends it to Phelan. Phelan couldn't get it. But Kennedy Daniels, Kennedy shovels underneath in the layup. Good. Two points for Jade Weathersby off of the assist from Kennedy Daniels. Now Nesbitt will have it. Nesbitt muscling away, puts it up, puts it in, give her two points. Courtney Nesbitt. Courtney with six. Now look at Collins working off of the screen. Sends it over to Weathersby. Back out to Collins. That's money. No. Comes up short. Nesbitt with the rebound, and she'll push it up court. Nesbitt. Oh, nice pass. Couldn't get it. It's a foul, and Mimi Whitehead will go to the free throw line, and Mimi will shoot two. Miero Whitehead knocks down the first one. She's perfect from the charity stripe. Three for three on the evening. Pushes it back to a four-point ball game. Oh, I gave it the announcers. Jinx came up short on that free throw. Oh, intercepted by McGowan. Now McGowan has a three-on-two break. McGowan will keep it herself. Charge will go the other way. Player control foul. Ooh, Tania, it was a three on two break. Got to give it up. Oh. Takes me back. Hey, I believe in giving it up early so you can get it back late. Had the three on two break. Got to give it. Give it up. Now they're going to back back. They'll pick up man at half court. Nope. 2-3 zone. 2-3 zone from Archer. Now Oso. Oso sends it back over the hall. They'll move it around. Kennedy to the lane. Kennedy put it up and no charge. Stepping up and taking one for the team. Put a body on the line to Nia McGowan. Let's see if she had position. Oh, yeah, she had position, stepped up, took one for the team. Ball tipped and knocked out of bounds. Wade will have it. Three minutes, 41 seconds. Now Wade sends it back to McGowan. Nesbitt wants it in the post. Still a 3-2 zone. Attacking. There's just running. Floater throws it up over her shoulder. Ashante Bryant. Ashante Bryant with 11 points. They'll send it in the corner to Justice. Justice McCoy. Justice McCoy, the freshman. Knocks down her second three-pointer. Still a four-point game. They'll send it over. Bryant down low. Back out to McGowan. McGowan for long range. Ooh. McGowan might be building a house with that brick. Here we go. Hall will have it. 
Now Kennedy sends it over to McCoy. McCoy, one more time. No, can't get it. Attacking Diana Collins. Diana Collins with the left hand. Diana Collins. Showing why she is one of the best. Three ball in the corner. What do they call? Oh. They're going to call a 30-second timeout. Look at Diana Collins attacking the basket with the left hand. Laying it in. The future Buckeye going to going to the best. Nobody wants uninvited guests taking up residence in their homes. No, we're not talking about the in-laws. Breda Pest Management protects you from bugs and critters. Breda has been keeping Georgia homes bug and critter free for nearly 50 years. You can see more at www.breadpest.com. Breda Pest Management is a proud supporter of Georgia High School Athletics. Shout out to the fine people at Breda Pest Management. They'll have it. Now they'll bring it in the court. Two minutes, 20 seconds. They'll send it back to Collins. Now Collins. Moving it to Weathersby. Now McCoy. Over to Collins. Collins. Layup. If she's that open, it uh, might as well be a layup for Diana Collins. Three ball out of the corner. And Brookwood has their first lead of the game. Brookwood came all the way back after trailing the entire game. Now McGowan on the outside. Nesbitt wanted it down low. Got to give it to him. There's the runner in the lane. No, no good. Oso with the rebound. Tie up, and they're going to call that one on Nesbitt. Shout out to the people in the comments. People in the comments. Somebody said they better put a body on Collins. <laughs> I think you might need more than one. She is tough. Collins will have it. She'll send it over to Weathersby. Weathersby attacking. Sends it back to McCoy. McCoy at the free throw line. Have a foul. Who they going to call the foul on? Going to call that one on, on Sanai Harris. Justice McCoy, the freshman at the free throw line. Justice hits the back of the rim on that one. Justice comes up short on both of them, but Collins will get the rebound. They'll send it back. They'll move it over. Hall, oh, no, couldn't get it. They're going to call over the back foul on Weathersby. Foul number 23, Jay Weathersby, a third. That'll be the third Jay foul Weathersby. for Jay Weathersby. Watch his ball. Out of the baseline. Now Nesbitt, Nesbitt working. She's at the elbow, they'll pass it out. Three ball from Whitehead, no. Rebound, McGowan, McGowan puts it up, can't get it to fall, bodies all over the ground. McGowan might have been undercut on that one. 
Let's see who they're going to call it on. They're going to call it on Hall. They're going to call that one on Sierra Hall. Shooting two. Tania McGowan at the line with a chance to take the lead. 38 seconds to go, 38.9 to be exact. Tania, five from six from the charity strike. She has seven points. Tania averages around 15 a game. Boom. Make that six for seven with eight points on the night. Now Weathersby, Weathersby, working with that left hand to the left side. No, Diana Collins, the rebound, puts it up, can't get it back in. Also with the rebound, and they're going to call it over the back foul. I think that's going to be on Whitehead. Where they're going to call the foul at? Taj Hunter's on the ground, and they're going to call it on Taj. She took the worst of it and got the foul. Definitely not the way she drew it up. Now Collins will have it. Collins just tries to throw it up. Doesn't get anything. There's your outlet to Whitehead. Whitehead can't get a hold of it. She does now. They'll send it back out to Nesbitt. Now Nesbitt will set it up. Eight seconds to go. Nesbitt. Nesbitt on the outside. Nesbitt on Collins. Nesbitt lost it. Scramble on the ground. Tie up with .7 seconds to go. Nesbitt on the ground. Trainer will come out and check on her. Score 46-45. We're going to take a quick commercial break. This is the SUVTV Game of the Week. 7A Region 4 Championship. <laughs> HBCUs, there's no limit to who we can be. Black and inspired and thriving. Black and magnetic and seen. From the classrooms to the quad, our passion is our purpose. We are leaders and leaders. So when you look at what we accomplished next, you'll know where it started. For who you are and who you want to be, we're here. All right, we're back live action here, live action here at Newton. It's a one-point ball game. We got .7 seconds to go. Archer will have it. They're in the lead with by one. Looks like Nesbitt will be all right. I think she might have might have got bumped in the head. That's what – nope, they're holding her arm over there. But I think she's going to be all right. They're checking her out. Here we go, they'll try to get it in. 0.7, you can catch and shoot, there's the shot. It'll go out of behind the backboard. The score, 46-45, 46-45. Archer, Archer on top of Brookwood here on SUV TV. Management proudly supports Georgia high school basketball. The Bradas believe in giving back to the communities they serve, and since 1975, Breda has protected homes from bugs and critters. See more at Breda, B R E D A, pest.com. And the winning numbers are 18, 18, 55, 39, 71, and 43. 43? Those numbers again. We won! Yes! Quick 
The Quicker Picker Upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. I'll hold on to that. Bounty, the Quicker Picker Upper. Here we are. We're back. Start of the fourth and final quarter here on SUV TV. And right now we got a nail biter. 46-45 Archer on top of Brookwood. Weathersby will have it. Weathersby leading all scores. They'll send it back over to McCoy. McCoy trying to get it down low. Could not get it. Tried to get it to Diana Collins. Didn't work out. Travel, Ashante Bryant. Shuffled her feet. I tell you, here on SUV TV, we love giving shout outs, man. We love giving shout outs to all the people in the comments. All the people in the comments, leave a comment. Let me know. Let me know who's going to pull this one out. Who you're cheering for, what player you care about. Or if you're really here just to hear my voice. Wellesby turning around in the lane, couldn't get it. And Collins will send it back out to McGowan. Now McGowan pushing it up court. There's your three ball out of the corner. That'll come up short. Also will get the rebound and fall down to the ground. Jump ball, they're going to call jump ball. jump ball. And it'll be Archer basketball. Beyond the baseline. Three ball on the wing, no, doesn't go. Fought for it, Collins will come up with it. Now Collins, she'll walk it up court and get that offense set up. Sends it over to McCoy, McCoy thought about it, attacking the basket, blocked from behind. No, scramble for the ball, tipped around. We'll stay down here, it'll be Bronco ball. Thank you, Bronco ball. Now Collins over to Weathersby. Weathersby thought about that one. Collins down low. Work. Oh, didn't get the layup. And stolen out of there was Kendall Sessom. Now Sessom. Sessom, she'll break it back out to McGowan. McGowan thought about the long range. She's not afraid to shoot it from back there. Oh, the hesitation. McGowan to the hole. McGowan, oh, blew another layup. Block no foul underneath by Weathersby. And I think that may be four on Weathersby. Archer has left a lot of points on the glass with layups. Now Kendall Collins on the line. First free throw. It'll fall. Second free throw. Bottom of the net, Kendall Collins. Collins has six points. Tried to get it down low to Oso. Ball tipped away. But Kennedy Daniels will have it. Daniels runs into her own player. Oh, wait a minute. They're going to call blocking foul. I thought she ran into Collins. I thought she might have ran into Collins on that one. Not sure where the block came from. Let's see. Ooh, might have got away with one. They call that one on Sesum. First free throw good. Kennedy has six. Substitutions coming in the game. Nesbitt back in the game. She's all right. She toughed it off. The coach say rub some dirt on it. Let's keep going. Second free throw good from Kennedy Daniels. All 
Now Nesbitt will have it. Nesbitt, oh, turned it over in the open court. The layup good, two, two points, Diana three. Collins. Oh. Seventeen points for Diana Collins. Oh, what a block by Oso! But she'll get it back, put it up, and put it in. Mimi Whitehead. Uh, Whitehead, time out. Miera Whitehead gets it back and puts it in. Time out. And look at the breakaway layup. And look at Mimi fighting underneath and put it back up, sticking with it, and putting the layup in for two. One point ball game, one point ball game. Archer, 50 49. Been a back and forth game in this second half because it was all Archer in the first half. But Brookwood fought back, fought back, took the, took the lead. And now Archer has the lead, a one point lead. Coach Mincy in the huddle. Given instructions. Coach Mincy, we talked about her. She's a Gwinnett, Gwinnett County. Gwinnett County our alum out of Shiloh High School. Played at the University of Alabama. All right, they're trying to get it to Collins. Ball poked away. Collins will get it. Collins guarded on the inside, and they'll pick up the foul. Foul will be on Courtney Nesbitt. They'll send Collins to the line and shoot two. Foul number 20, Courtney Nesbitt, her third team, second. Diana Collins at the line. She has one more shot. Collins knocks down that first one. It's a tie ball game. She'll knock down the second one. One point lead for the Lady Broncos. Oh, ball stolen away by the freshman. Oh, late call, but it was a foul. The referee took his time to make that one. Let's take a look. Ooh, that was close. Here's another angle. Yeah, got it with the body. Got it with the body. McCoy with a chance to make it a three-point lead. First free throw, no good. Second free throw, no good. Now Hunter will have it. Hunter throws it up too hard. And Kennedy Daniels will come down with the rebound. Hunter knocks it away. Stolen. Up. In. Give it two points. Mimi Whitehead. And now Archer's back to that man-to-man. -man, full court. Working off the screen. Collins attacking the basket. Collins couldn't get it to go. Rebound brought down now. Has runners, but she'll keep it herself. Dribbles off her back and turns it over. Now Collins will pick it up. Collins. Collins stops, pops, couldn't get it. Rebound by the freshman, and Collins wide open. That's a layup. Give it to her. Diana Collins. Two-point lead for Brookwood. Ball poked away by Collins. Now Collins will have it. Collins. One on three. Collins by herself. Collins off the glass. No good. Bryant with the rebound. Now they'll outlet it. They'll send it over to Wade. Wade sends it up court to Mimi Whitehead. Mimi, Mimi puts it off the glass. And the basket. Mimi Whitehead. Collins in the corner. It's a tie ball game. Sends it over to Phelan. Phelan wide open. Make them pay. Make them pay, Kate Phelan. Do not leave me open in the corner. I'm a shooter. Todd sends it out. 
Ashanti Bryant. No, she can't answer. And Diana Collins with the rebound. Three-point ball game. Three minutes, 20 seconds to go. Got a foul. Oh, no, it's a timeout. Coach Mincy decides to call timeout. Nobody wants uninvited guests taking up residence in their homes. No, we're not talking about the in-laws. Breda Pest Management protects you from bugs and critters. Breda has been keeping Georgia homes bug and critter free for nearly 50 years. You can see more at www.bredapest.com. Breda Pest Management is a proud supporter of Georgia high school athletics. Breda Pest Management. Shout out to Marcus Moore. We see in the comments, he says the refs are impacting the game. Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. But here's the thing. This is how I feel about officiating. If both teams say the referees are cheating for the other team, that means the referees are doing their job. Next up, next up. The Region, seven, four, Region 4 7 8 championship, Newton versus Grayson. Newton versus Grayson. I know we got a bunch of people waiting to check that one out, but you might as well keep it here. They'll be up as soon as this game is over. We got us a good one. It's a three point ball game. Three minutes, 15 seconds. Ball knocked out of bounds by Hunter. We got us a good one in the girls' championship game. Brookwood trying to beat Archer for the third time. McCoy attacking the basket. McCoy, the freshman. Justice McCoy taking it to the hole. Five-point lead. They'll get it down low to Nesbitt. Nesbitt. Up and underneath, Nesbitt! Courtney Nesbitt working in the lane with the hoop in the horn. Getting the chance for the three-point play. Look at Courtney with the up and under and puts it up and puts it in. That's the fourth foul on, da on Danielle Oso. Weathersby coming in the game for Oso. Weathersby, she has four fouls also. Nesbitt with a chance for three the old-fashioned way. Couldn't get the free throw. Archer has left a lot of points on the line. They'll move it around. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go. Weathersby sends it over to Daniels. Now Collins. Collins will pull it back out. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Collins off the pick. Sends it over to Phelan. Phelan from the corner. No. Weathersby gets the rebound, puts it up, and puts it in. Jade Weathersby is having a game. She is having a game tonight. 18 points for Jade Weathersby. They'll send it over to McGowan. McGowan attacking the basket. McGowan laying it in for two to Nia McGowan. She has 10 points. It's a three-point ball game. Two minutes, 45 to go. Weathersby with the strong. Oh, nice, beautiful play. Beautiful play, the assist. Daniels to Collins. Diana Collins. The future Buckeye is in the house tonight. Now attacking, puts it up, can't get it to fall. Ball tip, knocked out of bounds. It'll be Archer Ball. We'll stay down here. Ball. 
referees got a slight bit of confusion trying to figure out where the ball, where the ball placement is. Okay, here we go. They'll get it in. Three ball. No. Ooh, there's a foul. Sanaya Harris will go over the back on that one. Bad scramble for the ball. This one's for the region championship. Nobody's holding anything back. minute and nine seconds to go. Five point ball game. Oh, there's your interception. Now in the open court, Whitehead will have it. Blocked from behind. Kennedy Daniels with the hustle on defense and she blocks it from behind. Kennedy Daniels leaving everything on the floor tonight. And right now, I think Archer might wish they had greater pest management because Kennedy Daniels is being a pest to the Archer Tigers. Broadcasting school is paying off for me. <laughs> My producer over there, Lisa, she says, wow, you're the best after I said that one. Yes, I am. I am. All right, here we go. Archer ball, 53 seconds, 53.4 seconds. Referees can't figure out what they got going over here at the scoreboard. They're trying to get that shot, trying to get the foul count, I guess. All right, I think we got it right. Oh, wow, okay. Might have been the possession out. Yep. Okay. I think what happened in the possession hour was wrong. Now they have the possession hour right. But we're going to have a timeout. We're going to take a full timeout. Score 63-58 Brookwood on top of Archer here on the SUV TV Game of the Week. Management proudly supports Georgia high school basketball. The Bradas believe in giving back to the communities they serve, and since 1975, Breda has protected homes from bugs and critters. See more at Breda, B R E D A, pest.com. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. All right, we're back. 53.4 seconds to go. Brookwood up by five. They'll get it into Collins. Collins being guarded by Cecil. They'll get it in. They'll get it across the timeline. Now they'll dribble it around. Somebody has to fire. Weathersby has it now. Now they'll come back out. Weathersby being guarded by Nesbitt. Weathersby on the outside. Weathersby spinning. Blocked by Nesbitt. Nesbitt off and running. Nesbitt in the open court. Nesbitt throws it up. She's fouled. Well, they say she's in the act of shooting. Courtney Nesbitt on the line. She has eight points tonight. First free throw is good for Courtney. Coach Mincy calls a timeout. Going to put the pressure on. 
Coach Mincy wants to put the pressure on. Four point ball game. Full timeout. We're going to take a quick commercial break. The score 63 59, Brookwood on top of Archer. It's the SUV TV game of the week. Hi, I'm Dominique Wilkins, and welcome to my backyard and CBA Sports. At CBA Sports, we create family fun and a lifetime of memories. From our custom-built court systems, putting greens, synthetic lawn, to complete outdoor living spaces. From a single court to your own backyard fantasy, we can do any or all to accommodate your yard, your budget, and your lifestyle. As president of CBA Sports, I invite you to stop by our design center where you can see and play on all our products. I hope to see you soon. All right, Nesbitt back on the line. 17.7 seconds to go. Nesbitt shooting the second free throw. She'll knock it down. 10 points for Courtney Nesbitt. Now Collins will have it wide open. Collins dribbles back around. Somebody has to foul her. Nice play to get it open to Weathersby. Now Nesbitt a foul. Nine point seven seconds to go. And let's see. They're going to call that one on Courtney Nesbitt. That is number five on Courtney Nesbitt. She's going to sit down. She had 10 points tonight, 10 points for Courtney. But she'll sit down these final 9.7. And there's your foul. Foul on Wade. And now we're shooting one and one. Kennedy Daniels at the line. She has seven points on the night. First free throw front of her, and Weathersby gets the rebound. And that might do it. Weathersby. Who missed the box out on Weathersby? Oh, look at that. Weathersby, perfect position. Weathersby on the line. Doesn't get it. Archer has a chance. McGowan, four seconds to go. McGowan will shoot it herself. McGowan couldn't get it to fall. Oh, my goodness. And Brookwood, the Lady Broncos are your region champions. 63 to 60. The Lady Broncos get the three-peat, and they knock off Archer for the third time for the region championship. Final score, Brookwood 63, Archer 60. Stay tuned. Newton versus Grayton, Grayson. The Newton boys versus the Grayton boys here on SUV TV.